So, Hackett Dev here. Um, this is a completely unrelated matter to my normal videos. However, it's a thing I did and I thought it'd be cool to show you guys. So, here we have um, a BBC microbit. It was produced by the BBC. Clues in the name uh, for educational purposes. It's a cool single board computer. Um, it has a lot of stuff on the back, you can see here. But um, what we're interested in is what's actually on it, not the actual thing itself. So. I've just put in a simple neural network. If you've ever looked into neural network tutorials, you would have seen this example a billion times before. Basically, we do not care about any of the ones on the right. We only care about the left column. So the uh, neural network be will be fed a series of five numbers. It'll be one if the LED is on and zero if the LED is off. So this first line would be one, zero, zero, one, one. Anyhow, we'll get fed this. It'll give us an output anywhere from zero to one. Uh, because the uh, very left LED is on, we want it to be a 1, but if it was off, we want it to be a 0, like in the second row. We do not care about the right 4, um, but the computer doesn't know that. It starts off knowing absolutely nothing, and it has to learn that. So, if um, we are to look at only the top 4 here, these are the training data, and the very bottom one is the testing data. So, once it has done training, it will give us an output. And because the one here is off, we're hoping for it to be zero. So if I'll just start up the training sequence, this will flash to show that's the uh, testing data. And here we go, this is where it's learning. Um, I chose to go through a thousand iterations with a learning rate of 0 0.2. Uh, the reason I only chose a thousand is because it's a very, um, not very powerful of a computer. And here we go, it's almost done. But we, we are hoping for something like zero, and on average it's 0 0.05. So let's see if we can get that. 0 0.054. Cool. That's pretty close. Um, That's not the only thing I've got it to do. It, it does all this data, but I can also hold this button to randomize the data. This is a good data set because there's two of each on here. So if I start this up, you're looking for the output of one. So if I just hold this here, and I will probably speed this up in the actual video, but here we go. Okay, so the output should be very close to 1, I'm guessing 0 0.95, 0 0.76. Um, that's probably a fault with it's only a thousand iterations. It does normally work a bit better than that like this, so if I just start this up and skip to the end. Right, here we go, hopefully. 1.0, that's actually perfect. That's only happened to me twice before, um, which is actually quite rare, <laughs> rare for a only a thousand iterations and only a learning rate of 0 0.2 so that's really good you can hold it and I'm be I've been getting really good data sets but this is a bad data set here there are three that are on and one that's off so I'll be inclined to own, always say it's on which in this case it's good because on there is on but if it was off then it'd be bad so this would be horrible because these four are off and so everything single testing thing the answer will be zero so it's inclined just to say 0. So even though this is 1, the output will be around 0 0.05. Let's just try. Okay, so 0 0.01. Very close to 0. Um, this obviously makes a lot of sense because the data set only had outputs of 0, so it's inclined to always go 0. Um, right, so that's just the demo of the project. Um, how I did this, uh, <laughs> so I have had this over a week as an assignment, but... Um, basically, it the microbit runs on something called MicroPython. It's not quite Python, it's very, very similar in Python, and it's pretty much Python in all regards, apart from one main difference, which is um, you can't import as many modules, and one of those main modules you can't import is NumPy. So I had to go and write matrix multiplication and uh, Gaussian normalized random functions all myself, so I'm definitely going to put uh, the code below, probably on GitHub, but this is just so if for some reason you're writing Python project and you can't use NumPy and you want to do matrix multiplication, I think I also had matrix <laughs> transpose and stuff like that, the code will all be there. Feel free to take any or all of it and use it in your own projects. And yeah, this was just a quick demo. I might make some more neural network things in the future, but here we go. Coolio. See you.